All right, so 80% of success is showing up. Not an oversimplification. This concept um, has been something central to me uh, a long, long time. Um, it, essentially, uh, it means if you just show up and you don't give up and you keep pushing and pushing and pushing, regardless of how you feel, and you may not be pushing 100% every day, but just show up, just be there. Just take the next right step. Quoting Frozen again. I do that a lot. Um, so, example. I used this. I reminded my daughter of this yesterday. Um, she is a highly competitive karate athlete at 12 years old. Um, she actually... Uh, accomplished in her division last year, uh, world champ, uh, for continuous sparring in her weight class in her division. And immensely proud of her. I've got a 12 year old girl who could probably take me out with a kick to the head. So, um, I like that idea. It's great. Um, what I like even more though, is the fact that it's showing her hard work. The fact that, you know, there's, there's hard, it's difficult. Some days she's doing well, some days she screws around and get in trouble, gets in trouble. Some days her sensei has to push her and be hard on her and it makes her upset. And that's just what's necessary. Throughout the last few years, she's shown up with respect to this karate thing. She's practiced. She has a drive in her for athletics that I, I never had. Um, had it a little bit but she's going out to sporting and practices and every week multiple times a week seven o'clock in the morning at school running um, she's showing up at 12 years old she's showing up um, and you know she'll watch this eventually and I just want to say how inspiring it is to me to see that age and that level of commitment at that age um, because you know what we all want for our kids is for them to be effective adults and to grow up with a valuing hard work and achievement and you know not just being a bump on a log like a lot of people sometimes are um, because let's face it in the way the world is uh, people need to work hard now and they need to work harder maybe than you know than some of them some people before them but if they do that they'll stand above they'll stand above the others who don't value that hard work and don't understand this simple concept of it's not necessarily hard work hard work hard work although that's a factor but showing up showing up is the first part of hard work um, I'm back to the gym I have a long history of weight lifting um, I have a long history of Panzerati lifting which also makes me need to do the weight lifting um, don't really like the cardio that much never really did um, Sometimes it's hard on joints. I see patients that are runners and, you know, endurance athletes, although I respect and admire the endurance athlete part, um, I'm not built for it. It hurts my joints eventually. Um, I love lifting. I got out of it for a while. I stopped showing up. My wife said to me, you know, that like my body shape has changed. In fact, she used other words something about you know uh, my arms being floppy or something like that my arms have never been floppy um i always had muscle because i always lifted and don't have it like i did because i stopped showing up i stopped showing up and lifting the weights um there were other reasons i was trying to you know lose weight i was on a program to you know um cairo thin which you know is great for losing um, you know, if you're in an emergency situation, you need to lose a lot of weight quick or you need to lose a lot of weight, period. It's an amazing program. Helped me lose 26 pounds in about four weeks. But I had to limit my activity because I had to limit my appetite and a few things. But it worked. Anyways, showed up for that, lost 26 pounds, stopped showing up for the gym, lost all my strength. I'm back now. And it was hard to get back because I was like, you know, been there, done that. I love it, but, you know, uh, getting back is tough sometimes, doing, getting back into routines. Um, but you know what? I showed up this morning, and I was like, wow, I really miss this. This feels great. I love lifting stuff. I love the way it feels when I get out of the gym, and I feel kind of strong and 
solid again. And by the way, if you want to know the number one secret to anti-aging, it's not a fancy cream. It's actually weight training. Helps your bone density, helps your muscle strength. And just look at it this way. If you're 75, 80, 85, 90 years old and you fall on the floor and you don't have enough strength to get up off the floor, I've fallen and I can't get up. Uh, if you're strong, you have some strength. If you've been training, if you've been lifting at any age, lifting small amounts, just enough to give your muscles strength, eating enough protein, supplements, there's supplements you can take to help your muscle strength. Those things are the thing that will make you age less and keep you strong throughout your years. When you're strong throughout your years, what happens is you can live better quality of life. <clears throat> you can do what you want to do. If you fall on the floor, you can get up. That's a real important thing. You don't want to just die there, right? Going up and down stairs, you lose your strength to go up and down stairs, it becomes dangerous. Weight training, if you want to do one thing to help you as you age, stay strong muscularly, that will save your joints as well. Wear and tear on joints, less wear and tear on joints. Just a little health tip there. So, back to showing up. Essentially what I'm saying is whatever you're doing, however you are struggling, because all of us struggle, all of us struggle publicly or privately. Um, some of the confessions I've made have surprised people. Um, some people think I got it all together. Aren't they, you know, sorely mistaken? Um, we all struggle with a lot of different things and just showing up to battle that struggle is what gets us through it. Um, <clears throat> table Endeavor. Interviewed for a podcast the other day. So, how long has this table been out, Dr. Jagger? How long have you been working with this? I'm like, well, you know, overnight success, as you know. Um, the thing has been in use for 10 years. Oh my God, 10 years? How come I've not heard of it before? Well, because introducing new things, doing new things, taking on new responsibilities and big projects... Um, and even small projects sometimes takes a lot of time and effort. And I think with this 80% concept, it's been popping up in my head. I told my daughter yesterday, one of the audiobooks I read this morning was talking about the 80%, this principle. I ran into it twice. I think I got to talk about it. Um, if I hadn't shown up every day for the last 10 years, in fact, the idea was 2010, <clears throat> 2023 now, that's 13 years. If I had not shown up for this project every day in the last 13 years, people have no idea how much work. In fact, it boggles my mind when I go back and think of it. Um, I spent, you know, nights in, a sh in the shop till three, four in the morning, pulling all-nighters. Nobody knew, very few people knew I did that. Fabricating parts. Um, you know, arguably if I was really good at fabricating parts, I wouldn't have been there till four in the morning. But... <coughs> effort. I didn't have a lot of talent for it, so they say, if you don't have enough talent, I got some talent. I got some skill. I got some knowledge, but I had to learn the other stuff, and I had to put effort in, so the effort takes time. If I hadn't done that and practiced and practiced and practiced, and I don't want to spend till four in the morning in the shop, I want to be home sleeping, but I also have this goal. And if I spend all the time at home sleeping and dreaming about the goal and not doing anything about it, then I'm at 20% that's not showing up. I need to be in that 80%. 80% of success is showing up every day. And you don't have to show up 150% every day. Some days you're just going through the motions. But going through the motions also keeps that routine, keeps you knowing that you gotta keep doing what you're doing. I stopped showing up for weight training, I stopped weight training. I lost strength. I lost grit. I lost resilience. I lost the ability to lift heavy things because I stopped showing up. And that's anything. You know, working on mental, working on a project, if you stop showing up, you lose the skills that you're developing by showing up in the first place. So, you're going through anything, you're working on anything, I got a 13 year project here that's still. By my standards, when I started, I would say I've made it a success. <clears throat> my goals are always moving targets. I want to get here. I got here. Oh, great. I'm here. Now I need to get here. Um, I haven't 
achieved ultimate success with this yet, but I will. Because I'm going to keep showing up. 13 years later, I'm showing up. I'm not going to waste 13 years and not push this thing higher to help more people and get more achievement and get more doctors helping more patients <clears throat> with this amazingly cool thing and effective thing that I've designed. So, whatever you're working on, keep showing up. Be that 80%. Start weight training. Keep working on that project that you're on. Even if your project is just keeping this straight every day. Even if your project is just enjoying time with your family, enjoying the things you like to do. That's showing up too. Whatever your standard is, just, just keep showing up. Don't give up. If you don't give up, you never lose. And there's my philosophy in the nutshell. Beat my head against the wall, but I'll keep doing it till the wall falls down. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this helps you. And uh, <coughs> stay classy, San Diego.